Kevin, you should not be telling people about hell. <laughs> you should not be telling people about demons. What you should be doing is telling people about Jesus and the Holy Spirit is going to teach them everything else. Now, from a surface view, what you are saying sounds right, but it is wrong as well. Why would I only teach part of the gospel? If the Holy Spirit is going to teach them everything else, why teach anything if the Holy Spirit has the ability to teach them everything? Why even teach part of the gospel? If you are only going to teach part of the gospel, you are leading people astray. Let me say this. Back when I was in sin, and many people that I knew that went to church with me, they would speak about Jesus all day long, and we really did not care. <laughs> but when they started to speak about hell, that caught our attention, even now. Even though I do things right, even though I give God my time and everything like that, still hearing about hell makes me make sure that I am doing things right. Like I am checking things over and over and over making sure that I am right with God. I am repenting much more because of hell. I want to make triple sure that I am doing what is right. So many people are teaching about the positive things of God. Almost everyone or many people in this world know about Jesus. So many people are teaching about the positive things about God. But how many people are actually, actually living by him? as in following his rules and regulations. How many? Not too many in the aspect of this whole world. A very low percentage. So if everyone, if many people are teaching about the positive things of God, and they aren't changing or not many people are changing, that is telling you <sighs> the teachers are at fault. Let's go to Mark 16, 15 through 18. So Jesus is speaking to the disciples here. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He did not say, Go out <laughs> and only teach about 
the positive things of God. Don't teach about demons. Don't teach about hell. Hey, only teach about how good God is. 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. So the person that said to me, demons are not our problem, as you can see here, <laughs> why give us the power to cast out devils if devils or demons are not our problem? So you are telling me to repent because I teach people about demons and stuff like that. No, you need to repent yourself because obviously you are mistaken. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. This is why I teach about demons because this is something that we have to know. They shall speak with new tongues, 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. So, this is saying that men and women of God are going to experience or go through issues, problems that pertains to demons, Satan. But I am wrong when I speak about demons, okay. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So what if I only tell you, hey, Jesus is good. Jesus is willing to heal you. Jesus is willing to bless your life. All you have to do is believe and everything is okay. What if I taught like that? Many people are going to be lukewarm. I am not speaking about sin. I am not speaking about demons and stuff like that. So I am only telling them the good things that are going to come to them because of Jesus Christ. But I am not speaking about the other part of the gospel. That is wrong. If I speak about the good, I have to speak about the bad as well. Demons play a huge part in our world. I know that you don't want to hear this, but it is true. Many people have demons within them, and perhaps you do too. So let me stop here. So this is why I teach about hell. This is why I teach about demons because they play an active part in this world. I can't just tell you about the good things of God. I tell you how to walk on your own, how to walk with God on your own. I tell you about the good and I tell you about the bad. Do I know everything? No, but I teach what I know and I believe I know this. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.